Hello and welcome to another video about WebSpeed, website page editor from Sand Dollar Digital Design, Inc. I'm David Bailey and I'm the creator of WebSpeed. I've been working on this for almost 17 years. In this video, I want to cover very briefly a little bit about working with sections in WebSpeed on HTML pages. We're talking about HTML pages and uh, the uh, home page, which is which acts the exact same way. When it says home page up here in the in the uh, in this corner, or if the page when you tap on its tab says HTML page, uh, that's the kind of page we're talking about. Underneath those, we have this manage web page tab. And in another video, we we created these two sections in here, uh, and we also talk briefly about uh, browsing with multiple tabs. Now, you'll notice there's a link. It says click here to view this page now. If you click on that, it'll actually open up either a new tab or a new window. That's depending on how your computer is set up. Uh, most of the time, it's going to be a new tab, but there, there are settings that will make it a new window. This is a very useful thing because you can sit here, you can work in web speed, make changes, and then you can go over and look at it and see the changes you've made without having to go find and log in and everything else. So it's a good idea to use uh, either two tabs or two windows when working on your website with web speed. So I just want to cover very quickly, we already talked about inserting sections. We also talked about hiding sections. Uh, I want to talk about uh, creating space for a new section in between. And sometimes people have concern that if they're going to add a new section in between to existing sections. In fact, I'm going to, while I'm talking, I'm going to make a couple of minor changes so that we can see these sections a little bit better. But uh, someone says, well, I want to take out a section. Does that uh, mess things up? Can I, can I do that without uh, losing um, what I've got there or what will happen with the space that's remaining? Things like that. Uh, so um, I just want to address that concern primarily and the concern about uh, um, making new space for a new section in there. Now we talked about these sections uh, like they're bricks. Imagine a stack of bricks or a stack of uh, children's wooden blocks and these blocks or bricks sit on top of one another. If we want to add a new section between these two, what's going to happen on the web page? Now you'll notice here, see it's red box with white text now. It doesn't show up here yet because we have not hit refresh. When you're looking at a web page, you're actually not looking at the web page as it is on the server. You're looking on the web at the web page. Look, you're looking at a copy of the web page on your computer. When you go visit the page, your computer it goes out there, gets a current copy, and displays it to you. We have to hit refresh to show any changes that have been made. And you'll see here, when we hit refresh, suddenly these white boxes will turn into red boxes with white text. So we have the two sections. These are relatively small. Uh, I want to add a new section in between. Maybe we want to add a new image or, or, or uh, a new announcement in there. And again, we're go I'm going to use the uh, very simplest section here. And I'm going to put in here, uh, this is a short term announcement. And I'm going to make this, uh, let's make this the uh, orange with yellow text. And we'll talk more about the settings in another video. I'm just putting these in just for sake of illustration to see how these sections work. And you'll notice it inserted between the two. And if we actually go to the website, and remember, you have to hit refresh to see any changes that you've made. You go to the website hit refresh, and you'll notice it has actually made a little extra space for your new section in there. Now, if we remove that section out of there, it's just going to close that space up for you. The way web pages are rendered is they just use as much space as they need and, and make up for the space that they don't need by the length of the page. So we talked in another video about hiding sections, like maybe this is an announcement for an event you have coming up, but it's a regular event, so you don't want to just delete maybe a complex box that you've created, but you can hide that box for later use. And you'll notice now that we've said hide, 
It's down here in this section at the bottom. It says hidden for future use, and there it is. We can restore it when we're ready, but in the time being, as long as it's hidden down there, it will not show up on the web page. And you'll see that the space between the two red boxes is closed up, and the page is just shortened. Again, uh, this is from a previous video, but we're primarily focusing on this very small box on this page that is the content box for this website. Additionally, you can actually delete sections. Uh, as for me, I like to keep everything, so if it's anything complex you think you might use, don't be afraid just to hide it. You're not taking up any space on the server. Uh, most of these sections are extremely small and very insignificant. <clears throat> but uh, if you do need to delete it, there is a delete here. I do want to point out there is also an up and down. Maybe I like this announcement here, but I want it to go at the top for a while. And one thing, and we'll talk about this more in uh, search engine optimization, occasionally changing things like an order and putting things on and off your home page especially, but any page on your site, it's actually good for the search engines because they see that it is not just a dead site. Someone's here, someone's doing stuff. And that's an important thing to search engines to, to know that this is not just a, a dead brochure on the internet. They like seeing changes. But you can see now the orange box is now above the two red boxes just like it appears here in web speed. And I can move down, of course, or in the last resort, and this is uh, completely your discretion, of course. Uh, I can delete it, as I just did, and you'll notice we go back over to the web page. Now, remember, I hadn't hit refresh here. It's there right now, but I go hit refresh or reload. Uh, on the Windows keyboard, it's F5. On the Macintosh, I cannot recall what it is, but it's on there. But you'll notice now that orange box is completely gone from the page and it's gone it's there is no undo so be careful of that and that's one of the reasons why I recommend to people to use that hide rather than delete especially when it's a complex section now one more thing we do, can do here now let's just suppose this particular section is a large complex section but I'd like to repeat that section and I can also, I can use this duplicate to here. Now on occasion you may want to duplicate it to another HTML page. In this case the only other HTML page is the home. Or I might want to just duplicate it to this page. Uh, and that's particularly useful if there is a box of text you want to repeat on multiple pages. You can select which page you want to duplicate it to. And of course the name of this page is text and photo page. So I'm going to just duplicate it to the same page, and you'll notice now, once I've duplicated, there is a new version of this here at the bottom. Now I will warn you, if you're dealing with a section that has images in it, you may need to upload images, uh, again, for the new section. So uh, if you're expecting all the images just to repeat, there can be issues with that. But most of the time, this duplicate is used primarily for creating a same format, and we'll get into that in other videos. Uh, but you'll notice now I've got two sections exactly the same. I can now edit this second section and say this is a brand, brand new duplicate section to this page with different text. And I go down here and say Save Changes, click the Save Changes Now button. And you'll notice immediately that change is shown here. And immediately the changes on the website. Now remember what I mentioned earlier, you're just looking at a copy of the web page. You have to hit Reload to go tell the server, to, to go tell your computer to go get a fresh copy of that web page. And as soon as it does so, you'll see there's your brand new section down here at the bottom just like in the same order that it appears here. And also remember the extra space here in web speed uh, between these sections is purely for organizational purposes. We had to make space for things like the duplicate to button and so forth. So just keep in mind that it's going to be a little more tighter in the, uh, in the actual page. That's why we always go to the page, check it, 
see how it looks, come back to web speed and make any changes necessary. Thank you for joining us for another video and we'll see you in the next one.